Hey guys, it's Sarah again, and welcome to Adobe Basics episode 2. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about how you can quickly select objects in Photoshop, specifically portraits, and make it as perfect as possible, as fast as possible. So we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you'll need to do is download Photoshop. And you can do that by clicking my link um, in my bio. And you can get a trial there if you'd like, or you can purchase it. So, I opened up Photoshop, put my portrait in here. I renamed the layer to portrait. You can do that by double clicking on the layer. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and go to the quick selection tool, which is this guy up here. And this tool is really handy um, for a lot of different things. This is a quick demo right there, um, where you can just quickly select things, uh, quickly select colors and things like that. But a new feature that Adobe CC has added on in the last, um, I think like year or so, year or two, um, is the select subject. And this will save you so much time. It is amazing. It is my favorite tool. One of my favorite tools. Anyway, so, all you have to do is press, make sure that you have uh, the quick selection tool selected, and then all you have to do is press select subject. And what this is gonna do, Photoshop is going to analyze um, your portrait and using AI, it's gonna figure out um, the portrait and select it for you, which is great. And it does a really great job of this, but of course there's a little bit of mess up by the hair. And this is a tricky portrait, I picked this one on purpose because the background is pretty similar to the hair um, and a little bit to the skin color of this person. Um, so, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go up to select and mask. And masking is great because it allows you to go back and forth between adding um, things to your portrait. So if you erase something, you can quickly get it back um, and vice versa. So we'll go ahead and look at this. So it honestly has done a good job with selecting the hair and making it look um, organic and, and real. Um, but we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and use this refined brush tool. And this red background just shows you, um, you can change the opacity level of this. Um, so you can see what the original looks like and what you're photoshopping out. So I'm going to kind of, I want to get a sense. So I'm going to work on this area a little bit and maybe a little bit over here. Once your portrait is good to go, you can go ahead and press OK. And once you get here, you can go ahead and press Add Layer Mask. And what this is going to do is add a mask to this. And as you can see, there's like a few areas that I missed a little bit. So you can go ahead, it's not a problem. You can go ahead and fix this really quick by pressing B, which is the shortcut for brush. And when you have the mask layer selected, which is this black one right here, you can go directly in here and add or subtract things. So the black erases and the white, you can switch it by just pressing this. It brings everything back. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring some things back really quick. So that looks pretty good for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a solid background color. Um, back here. I think I'm going to make it, uh, I don't know this color right there. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and export this if I'm done. And you can go ahead and do that by the file, export, export as, and then you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. So this looks good to me. I want it to be a JPEG. I'm going to name it portrait. 